are. So I've been waiting for you to bring this up. Because we brought uh, up earlier the hookup culture, yeah. right? You guys love to say and complain about women and hookup culture and this, that, and the third. What if men mm. just raise your standards and you guys stop sleeping with everyone? Then maybe your lives wouldn't be so difficult. You keep complaining about, oh, you know, this and that and the hookup culture. You And saying that we control hookup culture yeah. by, like, if True. we don't sleep with you guys, no. How about you guys stop sleeping with everybody mm-hmm. and that'll... Be the fix you want well, to here's, see. here's the difference so I, I, I would kind of point out to that. You say you guys, but what I would argue is when it comes to hookup culture, it's actually a fairly small proportion of men that you could say are responsible. Where So I think what's going on in hookup culture is you have women who are chasing after the top 10, top 20% of men. They're sleeping with all the women, and then the rest of the guys are lonely. They're not getting any. No, maybe I would say there's more men who are... In and indulging in casual Dis- sex than women are. Yeah. No, I think it's the reverse. No. No. I would agree I think, that it's the reverse. I think that <laughs> if per, perhaps you can make the argument that men Attempt. are more inclined to just pursue casual sex, but that's very different than actually being able to get it. The men that are able to regularly get casual sex is is a much smaller cohort of people compared to like almost any woman, any woman, even if she's overweight she can be in hookup culture i would argue like a overweight man he's not he doesn't have access to hookup culture so i'm not saying that it's easier for men they still it's women have more access to sex correct but that doesn't negate the fact that they try so hard that they still end up being the most people in hooking up in casual sex Wait. because there's more there's men yes they might not get it on their first try but they're still trying to. So even if it takes them all night long, even if they have to go up to 10 different women, they're leaving that night with a girl in hand. We know, I know many men like that and they are mid, they are not some chads or the (laughs) finest men in the room. No, I know very mid men who, or yeah, mid men who take home a woman, if they want, well, they're going to they, leave they the might be night. bringing something else. They might have some charisma or a game. Obviously, you you were in the nightlife. You're a bartender, so like when you get alcohol in the, involved in the picture, and that's it's not saying it's things. right, but even in Isla Vista, that's usually a play in mm-hmm. majority of scenarios. So I think well, like, both men and women are drinking. I mean, that's yeah. I'm not saying it's wrong. I'm not saying like I'm I'm saying like yes, you're not. It's not right that they're using this alcohol. But I'm saying that's what's happening the majority of the time is both parties are drinking. So well, it's like liquor, it's like the liquid confidence for guys. Right. Like they're gonna be less scared to approach a girl if they're a little intoxicated they're not going to be as nervous anxious etc right but I still think like there's more if you count the amount of men versus the amount of women who are, that are con- engaging in hookup culture because I would be like disagree I saw I, <laughs> oh, oh, guys guys oh, will take oh, home guys can take home three four different girls a week and nobody would bat an eye right a girl might be having casual sex but usually it's either they're repeating partners mm-hmm. or they're not they're, it's not the same because you will get judged for that whereas a man wouldn't mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. girls are more inclined to not do that that's why sneaky what i mean links. that yes but that's not what a sneak link really means but it's i'm saying that there if you count count it out there's going to be more men who are doing that mm-hmm. than women i mean you're but okay it's not like with the dating apps and social media and like meeting people at parties and bars and clubs and stuff um there's a, if as a woman, if you want to kind of keep a low profile and hook up with a shit ton of men, you can absolutely do it. It's this idea that, oh, they're going to be judged. Like, who? You, you can be you sneaky. Can do it. Not, and not really in these years. I mean, if you, everyone here probably has roommates. You're going to notice if your roommate's gone every night and doesn't have a boyfriend. Like, those things don't get <laughs> non-picked up. They might be a little bit, you could be a little bit more hush-hush about it, but usually things start going around people guys are going to start talking guys love to talk about their sexual encounters so even if she's quiet about it he's going to go tell his homie and that homie's going to tell that homie so i mean it's gonna most of the time it it gets around pretty fast so you're saying that when it comes to getting sex that it's actually pretty comparable like even if you're a mid guy if you really want it like you can just go get it yes but i'm not saying that men have more access to sex i'm not saying that women do have more access to sex but i'm not saying you have to be a 10 out of a 10 amazing looking or rich man to get a woman that's not true because i I will agree with that to the extent that i think that the like one like top one percent like attractiveness of men are getting you know sex seven days a week whereas like a average looking guy is probably getting sex once a week 
I would still, I mean, at least in my- Or zero. It, <laughs> or zero, but I like I would say that there are probably, well, there's definitely more men that attempt to partake in hookup culture. Are they as successful as women can be? No, but I think there's probably more in terms of volume of men partaking on a regular basis than there are women. But women obviously have more access in terms of they don't have to try nearly as hard as men do to partake in hookup culture. Yes. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. That's exactly. Yeah. But I yeah. will like clarify mm -hmm. my stance because I. <laughs> I agree. No, I will. Disagree. I'll cl I'll clarify my stance on hookup culture. I'm not saying like it's it's only women to blame. I think both men and women need to become equally as ac accountable. I don't agree that men should be. Um, left to sleep around i don't i don't think that at all i think both need to stay accountable but i mean at least for me i think that men care more about a woman's past whereas like in terms of seeking a relationship men care more about a woman's past and women care about men's future mm -hmm. so women are a lot more inclined to be like oh i can fix him whereas men are not men will see like a dirty past see baggage and be like no nah, she's not worth it yeah. But if let's say a man does see that, isn't that a red flag to you? Like, it, let's say you do partake in hookup culture and some guy places that much emphasis on your body count, who you've been with in the past. To me, that means that I'm immediately no longer interested in him. The fact that he is putting that emphasis on like previous relationships, when that's clearly not what matters. I. I wouldn't judge a guy for however many people he slept with, and I wouldn't want him to judge a woman for that. And what honestly, that's like, that's like not even a red flag to me. That's like, that's done deal. Like